this video, we're going to take a look at two examples where we are needing to identify the type of event, as in, is the event a disjoint event or is it an overlapping event? All right, so in our first example here, we're going to be considering um, rolling a dice. If event A is roll a number less than four and event B is roll a five, the best way to determine if you want to actually show some work and justify your answer as to whether it's disjoint or overlap is to do your outcomes. So I could write the outcomes, my possible outcomes for event A. All right, so rolling a dice and getting a number that is less than four, I would have outcomes of one, two, and three. Okay, four would not be less than four, five and six would not work. All right, now rolling a five for event B, that means my outcomes for event B is only a five. Okay, very specific there, roll a five. All right, now I can see that none of my outcomes overlap. All right, so when the outcomes do not overlap, then you have disjoint. Okay, you have disjoint events. Okay, so this is disjoint. All right, coming over here and looking at this one. All right, let's say that we are going to randomly select a student um, from a middle school. Okay, so my first event is I select a seventh grader. My second event is I select a boy. Okay, now some seventh graders are boys. Some of those seventh graders are boys, some of them are girls. So the events have outcomes that are in common. All right, seventh graders will have boys and girls, and selecting a boy is my outcomes are boys. So since there is an overlap there, these are overlapping events. Okay, so just two quick examples there for taking a look at your different scenarios and events and then determining whether they are disjoint or overlapping. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.